So, hello. I know that my friends in this class love looking at and learning about the plants on the playground when we go outside for recess. So Miss Smith created a special lesson for you today, and we are going to learn more about plants by comparing and contrasting plants. Our do not question for today is, do all young plants look exactly like their parents? I want you to respectfully turn and talk to your think pair share partner and share what you think. All right, hands on your head, hands on your hips, fingers on your lips. I heard some really great conversations and some really great thoughts about this question. I want you to keep this question in mind because we are going to explore this question today and by the end of today we're going to figure out the answer to this question. So I would like to invite you to a read aloud about a young plant and an adult plant, a parent plant. And this is one of my favorite books. It's called From Seed to Sunflower by Mary Shaw. Soon a seed starts to sprout. The moist soil softens the seed's hard shell, and soon a root and a stem grow. The stem pushes the seed up through the soil. Two small leaves break out of the shell and open. Hmm, can anyone tell me, based on this picture of the young plant called the sprout, what is something that you notice based on the picture? What is something that you can see? Anyone? Kelly? It's green. It is green, okay. Does anyone else want to share? It's little. It is little, very good. That's a great observation. How do you know it's little? It looks very close to the ground. It does, that's how we know it's little. It's very close to the ground. Awesome observation. The sunflower blooms. The bud opens and the sunflower blooms. Its petals, uncurl and spread out. The sunflower's head can be about one foot, 0 0.3 meters long. Tiny flowers called disc flowers grow in the center of the sunflower's head. I even brought in a real sunflower for you to see today. What it looks like in person. It looks a lot like the picture, right? Yes. All right, so hmm, based on the picture that we see, what is something that you see that you can tell me? What's an observation that you can make about the sunflower? Big and bright. It is big and bright. Mm -hmm. And and why? What colors is the sunflower? Yellow. Mm -hmm. It's yellow. Yes. I was gonna say it's yellow. Okay. <laughs> Can you make any other observations based on what you see about the sunflower? Maybe some details that you heard that I said from the story. It has petals. It does have petals. Very good. Next time, raise your hand. We don't want to pull out. Very good. All right, so let's take a moment. I loved this story. This was one of my favorites. Let's take a moment and think about what we did yesterday in writing class. We learned how to organize our writing and information by using a Venn diagram. And today, we are going to use that um, organizational writing technique, and we're going to connect it to science. We are going to create a Venn diagram today based on what we observed in the story about the young plant and the adult plant. The young plant was the sprout, and the adult plant was the sunflower. Just like we did yesterday, I'm drawing the Venn diagram. All right. Now, one of my friends made an observation about the young plant called the sprout. Who was my friend? And what did you say about it? Do you remember? It's little. It is little. Would you like to come up and write in the Venn diagram that the sprout is little? You could just write little. Or you know what? Why don't you write small since it's our vocabulary word that we went over yesterday. Let's try to use our vocabulary words. Very good. And who was my friend who shared with us an observation they made about the sunflower? Who said that it has petals? Would you like to come up and write that as an observation in our chart? 
it's very important that we record the evidence that we make from our observations. Now, our friend Kelly said that it was green in the sunflower, which is true. But Kelly, I would like to ask you a question. Isn't the sprout green also? Yeah. So wouldn't you say that that's a similarity? Yeah. Would you like to come and write that in the middle of the Venn diagram? Yeah. Thank you. Great writing. Thank you. All right. So I want everyone to take out their science journals and a pen or a pencil. And we are going to write an informative text based on the observations that we collected and wrote in our Venn diagram. Now first, I'm going to give everyone a minute. When we write an informative text, we always want to make, uh, write an introductory sentence by naming a topic, and we also want to supply a fact about the topic. So first, we're going to do one thing at a time. We're going to start with writing the introductory sentence. So today we compared and contrasted, we're using our vocabulary words on our science word wall, we compared and contrasted what? You're going to write that down in your science journal. That's going to be your first introductory sentence to your informative piece. Very good. Now I'm going to come around and I'm going to have everyone reach in the bag and pull out a piece of paper. There's two colors, yellow and blue. Let's see which one you get. And just keep it on your desk. I'll tell you what to do with it in a moment. Let's let all our friends pick one first. Very good. Next color. The surprise. Let's see what you got. Blue. Oh, yeah. Yellow. Very good. Is everyone finishing up writing their introductory topic sentence? Yes. Would anyone like to share what they wrote? I'll share. Okay, Nelly. Uh, I said today we compared and contrasted sprouts and adult plants on the sunflower. Very good, Kelly. Thank you. Yes, we did. And if you ever forget, we go look at our Venn diagram where we recorded our observations and our evidence. All right, so now we wrote our introductory sentence. Now we're going to write our factual sentence to support our informative text. For my friends who pulled the blue square, you are going to look find the blue square on the board. And you're going to supply a fact by writing one sentence describing a difference between the sprout and the sunflower. For my friends who picked a yellow square, you are going to look at the yellow square here and you are going to uh, supply a fact by writing a sentence describing the similarity between the sprout and the sunflower. And you can do that now. Very, very good. All right, now I'm going to collect your science journals and I will give them back to you tomorrow. So let's wrap it up. Let's revisit our do now question. Do all young plants look exactly like their parents based on the book we read today and the observations that we made and that we recorded as evidence in our Venn diagram connecting to yesterday's writing lesson when we learned about Venn diagrams? And based on the informative text that we wrote today, what do you think the answer to this question is? If you think that all plants look exactly like their parents, if you think no, put your finger on your nose. If you think yes, put your hands ahead. Very, very good. No, not all plants look exactly like their parents, and we have evidence and support to prove that. Thank you.